All right, I got a, a package from Russia today. Very exciting. Uh, can't read that, but <laughs> okay. Uh, what do we get? Hopefully, some parts. Let's see if I can zoom out. Uh, I'm going to need something to open this. Let's see. All right, good. I got aluminum foil. I always like that. Wow, lots of parts. All right, we have 20 Russian parts. And they are uh, KP580 24s, which is an 8224 clone. And in different colors, interesting. Um, I like the brown one. Let's try a brown one out. Uh, the leads are a little, a little uh, corroded, but not too bad. Not bad for I don't know how many decades old. Let's uh, let's pop it in here and see if it works. Let me bend the leads so they're nice and straight. And pin one is at the top. Well, it goes in. All right, let me, uh, I don't have a power supply hooked up right now, so let me, uh, let me get the power supply hooked up and we'll take a look, see if it's firing some clocks. All right, have the uh, part in. I'll be probing pins 10 and 11, which are phase one and phase two of the clock. And we have, uh, our logic dart up here. So let's take a look at uh, one of the pins. And it is uh, 3 megahertz? Is that right? 3 megahertz. Wow, this is fast. I didn't think it was that fast. Uh, let's see here. Auto scale. So it looks like a pretty even clock. And then we'll look at pin 11. And pin 11 is a narrower clock, so those are the two phases of the clock. So we can get out two probes and look at the phase relationship between those two. But I think we've already seen that, so we don't need to do that. So I think uh, I think we're actually up and running here. Um, let's uh, put in the 8080 and see if it actually uh, if the 8080 is still alive or not. All right, before I do that, I, I wasn't happy with the clock value. The clock value. Um, it's a 19.354 megahertz clock, and you divide that by 9, uh, you don't get 3. So there's something funny going on, so I took a look, and my ground wasn't connected very well. So now if I, uh, if I, put, the, if I put the ground on uh, pin 10, uh, we're getting uh, 2.15 megahertz, which is exactly right. That, that's, exactly what it, that's exactly what it should be. And the other clock... Two point, yeah, okay. All right, so it's just a grounding problem. All right, so let's put the 8080 in. Always, uh, always be safe. All right, uh, here's the 8080, and uh, I powered it up and uh, took a look at our LED, and uh, yeah, it wasn't flashing, so yeah, that 8080 <laughs> is fried too. So we'll have to wait for that. So, anyway, one part at a time. Uh, at least I have a whole bunch of these, which I had a whole bunch of before, and I no longer can find them. So if I ever do find them, we're going to have a bucket load of these 8224s. Um, anyhow, um, things are going pretty good. Uh, working on the uh, I.O. So made a uh, uh, an input board uh, for for this port. And uh, there's an output board over here. I showed that last time with the LEDs on it. So we'll be able to show LEDs. We'll be able to read switches. And we'll get that up and running. And then um, I'll start working on the uh, serial port here. Um, so once we get the serial port up and running, then we can start talking about putting in a program. I have an idea for that. So uh, that'll be fun. 
Okay, I've put two clip leads on pins 10 and 11 for the logic dart. All right, let's turn the power on and do compare, auto scale, and yeah, there are there are two clocks. Uh, we can um, zoom in and out. Looks like it even catches a little glitch on that edge there. But here's our uh, uh, phase one clock and our phase two clock. And um, yeah, interesting. Looks like it's got some markers we can move around and. But uh, anyway, uh, clock's up and running again. Good news.